Second problem with the film, right? The funeral scene, right? You like, oh, this is beautiful. They got the nice music. You see the African people dance. They in all white. It looks visually stunning. This, you know what hit me? You remember when Tony Stark's died? Tony Stark's had everybody in his funeral. All the Avengers pulled up. Nick Fury pulled up. Everybody pulled up to show my man Tony Stark's love and be like, yo, we appreciate you getting it in Was with snapping your fingers. It's a game. game game. Yeah. It sure is. What did Black Panther do? Black Panther only gave y'all the land to fight Thanos on in the first place. He also was trying to help y'all get the stone out of vision to save the whole world. Also had all his army there fighting against the people that came in in Wakanda. And my man died from the vid. And then anybody come to his funeral? They was like, y'all the ones that brought these diseases in here anyway. You obviously brought diseases in here and got T'Challa sick. I want to say blame the white people, but I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs>
He's the Black Panther. He's our first super. He's the first black man for us to really be able to see on the screen who's a superhero. He he running his whole country. He's in charge. He's leading. He got a bunch of strong black women behind him <laughs> who going to war for him. Like this is this is so like hey, the exciting. More, the more you talking about the movie. The, I'm getting the context that I got. I listened to the spoilers in, mm-hmm. and some of those jokes are resonating again now. <laughs> hey, when listen. you say that he, they made him, they killed him from a disease, Bruh, so, this, they, so they, they basically gave the T'Challa from, COVID. They gave him COVID. <laughs> Real talk, bro. They gave T'Challa COVID. Superman, he need kryptonite to die. We don't get this nigga COVID. He out of there. Wow. I don't like that, bro. They gave him COVID. Yep, heard, yep, he died. Heard, now heard. check this out, right? Sherry, shout out to Sherry, shout out to the actress who plays Sherry, did her thing, incredible job, right? The whole time he's dying from this illness, COVID. Oh, can we even say that? Can we we can say that now? The vid. Uh, say yeah, the vid, they, right? I all think right. they took all that stuff down. Good. He's dying <laughs> from the vid. She's in there trying to create a synthetic um herb. Remember they had the mm-hmm. herb? They, they cut it up a drink. Remember yeah, my you gotta drink the purple drink. Yep, Killmonger destroyed all the herbs. The purple drink. The purple all drink. All the colors. All of them. All the could have yeah. had fruit punch. We like strawberry lemonade too, but nah, they was like great. Get no, it ain't great. great. It was like Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just purple. You know, red, purple. You just, just well, I gotta be I know purple is royalty. Red. I get it. I yeah, know. They, you know, like that. Shout out to my guy Fox One. But right. So they, they they create the synthetic herb, right? Well, she trying to. She couldn't do it in time. He dies from the vid. I don't like that he got to die from the vid. He the Black Panther. Y'all could at least put him in like some kind of green screen motion capture thing where he in a battle or something, and he dies in a battle against like a big bad guy. We ain't got to hear him talk for us to see the Black Panther fighting. Then it can make a little more sense. You can't sit there and have... The Black Panther, our first black superhero, one of the richest men in the whole Marvel, powerful, whole entire nation with all this technology, and this nigga died from the vid. Yeah, man, I wholeheartedly I like agree with that part because I feel you on that 100% with just that right there. All this stuff, we got vibranium, we got this all hidden that. from the world. They can't get all to that. us unless we let them in. Word. I'm taking this potion. I got this suit that just do, and then, like, a cold killed me. A cold. The vid. My man died from a stuffy nose. I can't rock with it, bro. Can't rock with yeah. it. Yeah. Didn't he? I mean, I get that that had to happen, but if it that was going to be it, no, but, like, because he gone and you want to put him in there, you want to honor him, but I would have took, I would have took, um, we all know, I would have took some, mm, no, you got to, you got to. I right. get it now. Now that I'm trying, I'm trying to criticize it and be like, no, you don't got to do that, you got to put him in there, but you don't, he was the hero, so you got to put some Bro, resemblance re- of a funeral no, type scene. They re- okay. You can't just okay. show, Second, you can't just break on. it on and then show a picture a of him and be like, oh, we missed the child. Glad, it's like, what happened? Oh, glad you said that. Second problem with the film, right? The funeral scene, right? Funeral scene on a naked eye on the first watch, you like, oh, this is beautiful. They got the nice music. You see the African people dance. They in all white. It looks visually stunning. This is great, right? But then you know what hit me? You remember when Tony Starks died? Tony Starks had everybody at his funeral. All the Avengers pulled up. Nick Fury pulled up. Everybody pulled up to show my man Tony Starks love and be like, yo, we appreciate you getting it in Was with Snap your finger. It's at the game game. game. Yeah. It sure is, oh, yeah. ain't it? I remember, do remember. They pulled I up, show okay. a man love. What do Black Panther do? Black Panther only gave y'all the land to fight Thanos on in the first place. That was in Wakanda. He also was trying to help y'all get the stone out of vision to save the whole world. That's Wakanda. He also had all his army there fighting against the people that came in in Wakanda. Then when you brought him back, he was on the battlefield with y'all fighting against Thanos again. And y'all won. And my man died from the vid. Mm -hmm. And did anybody come to his funeral? This is the racist stuff I be talking about. Protect the black man. Y'all just killed my mans off with the vid. Then nobody could, not even Nick Fury pulled up. They probably didn't let them in. They probably didn't let them in because they was like, y'all the ones that brought these diseases in here anyway. That's so just, just like that, blame the Negroes. Blame no, I'm saying the, the white, Negroes. We, bro- we let one of you white dudes come in here on the first movie. You obviously brought diseases in here and got T'Challa sick. I want to say blame the white people, but I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, but just saying blame the white people can't cancel you. <laughs> Some white people are blaming the white I people. I blame Captain America then. How about that? We're going to blame you, uh, Roger, Steve Rogers. It's your fault. You ought to bring my man back. He done saved the world. He dies from the vid. Nobody comes to his funeral. That's my second thing. I ain't like that, right? Okay, but cool, right? We're going to continue, right? I'm saying all of these things, too. That doesn't mean the movie is bad. But my third thing that bothers me, right? <laughs> we get the villain of the movie, right? My man Namor pulls up. Came through like a beast, too. He came through like a boss when he pulled up, too. My man's in the sky flying with his little wings on his feet and stuff. He out there grabbing airplanes, twisting them around, throwing them into the crowds. I'm like, yo, he a dog. Like, shout out to my boy Namor, right? But then it hits me. I don't like this. Nope. First Black Panther, right? We had Killmonger. Understood Killmonger. Killmonger was a dude from the hood. He done seen, you know what I'm saying, all the struggle in America that you can experience. He realized that the Black Panther in Wakanda killed my pops. One day I'm going to get that, and I'm going to take all the resources, and I'm going to help everybody in the hood that can't get no help, and I don't care about what nobody got to say. I'm helping all of them. Shout out to my boy Killmonger, real one. And you got the child is saying, hey, dude, I already got my people over here situated. We good. We the, we the most Richest country in the world. We got the best technology. We got this on hold. You is not coming over here doing nothing to my people. Shout out to T'Challa. Understood it. Kill my girl T'Challa. Oh, yeah, this is good. Then I'm like, oh, it's black on black crime, but I understand. I understand it, right? <laughs> we get to Black Panther too, right? We got the Mexican dude pull up. The Man, Mayan, right? I, yeah, he pulled up wings that. on his feet, doing his thing. His people, they doing their thing. They got vibranium, too. They over there prospering, living, doing their thing. But where they thing. come from, though? Because I thought been we there. had it, though. Nah, they I had it the Wakanda whole time. I thought Wakanda was us. They had it the whole time. What happened was, earlier in the movie, America, the white people, felt like we want the vibranium that we found down there with them. So they tried to attack them. They knew they was coming. They handled business. Shout out to my so boy Nate, Namor. So Namor, out Namor and them, business. Namor and them was already in Wakanda, just in the water. No, they in their own thing under the water. They, oh. they, they got their own thing. Going. So they ain't even in Wakanda. They ain't even in Wakanda. Is not even with. They ain't worried about Wakanda. They over here doing their thing. Wakanda. Wakanda. So how the fuck? Did, Wakanda how the fuck Shuri even make it to give him some pussy? Well, Sherry never made it. Oh, I know. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. This is this is the Black Panther I'm episode. I'm thinking these niggas Look. in the ocean in Wakanda. Nah. I didn't know they had their own they had universe. They had their own universe under the ground. This is a separate movie. Get them <laughs> out of Black Panther. No. This is black people. Now, check this out. It's the part I don't like, Craig. So they doing their own thing. The man comes and try to take their land, take their resources. They handle business. So the, the Hispanic guy, he goes and hollered the queen of Wakanda. Pulls up on her. He ain't call. He ain't text. He pulled up. Wings flapping. <laughs> How he get that, though? This nigga... He flew up. <laughs> he could fly and swim? Hell oh. yeah. He a dog. He a yeah. beast. He got all that, right? This he nigga got wings and fins? Hey, real dude. He this real... is weird, man. I don't <laughs> like him already. <laughs> Sounds what weird, do, huh? What do you know that flies and swims? Name more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. All right, so check this out. He come out the water, right? Flapping away. And he say, hey, queen, let me holler at you. She like, hold up, nigga. How the hell you get in Wakanda? You ain't supposed to be able to just get in Wakanda? Same thing you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so she checked. We didn't the- let you in. Man. And she had mad, like, mama energy, too. Nigga, you better close my motherfucking door. You don't just walk your ass in my damn house. You letting all the air out. You know how mm, do, right? I got it. So he looking at her like... <laughs> Man, chill out, cuz. Look, all I'm telling you is these white folks trying to come over here and get our vibranium. And she's like, you ain't got no vibranium. We got the vibranium. This is Wakanda. And then Sherry was like, nah, the nigga got vibranium. His whole uniform is vibranium. He good, ma. He he got vibranium. So then she was like, oh, shit, he really got vibranium? Oh, shit, this is the Queen's, <laughs> the Queen's yeah. version of yeah. <laughs> so Oh, then, shit, that's vibranium he wearing? That's what he was like, I thought that was vibranium. fake. She that's like, oh, real, shit, Louis? That's, that's real. Oh, that's real Gucci right there? Oh, shit, I ain't never seen that's that, that Gucci. Shit? Oh, that must shit, be okay. some different Gucci. So she was like, damn, okay, that's real vibranium. She, like, chilled out on him, like, damn, okay, he got real vibranium. She talked to me, like, look, they going to come back again. Right they going to come back again, and they're going to come try to mess with us. They're going to try to mess with y'all. We need to be on the same page. We need to be together. So when they do come back, we handle our business and protect our people. I feel Namor had a valid point, right? Black and brown, let's get together. Let's, let's avoid the man coming and take our resources. Let's protect our people. You know what she said? Nigga, if you don't get your ass off my motherfucking porch and take your ass home. Why would you say that, queen? Because you're sitting here with a goddamn fin and wings, and I don't know what the fuck you are. Get the fuck out of here. Flap or swim your ass away from here, because I might have to beat your ass and take this vibranium from you. Get the hell out of here. We got the vibranium, goddammit, and you're not even black, so... 
But see, that's the problem. <laughs> he's not black, but he's brown. Now it's brown on black war. Now we got to go against our fellow brother, our fellow brown brothers, while the white man sit back and watch us kill each other and then still come for the vibranium eventually anyway. I don't like what it represents. First, you had the black on black crime in the first one. Now you got the black on brown crime. Why we couldn't just get together and go against the government? Yeah, that's true. Also, why do the Hispanic people got to be in the water? Nigga, oh, didn't even bet. think about that. Oh, yeah, they I trying bet. to call them racial slurs by making them come out the water. Cuz. I don't like I didn't it. even think about that one. Fourth thing. Now. Stan Lee, cancel him. We cancel Michael uh, he Jackson. Dead, you but, cancel, uh, no, we, they cancel Kevin, Michael Kevin after Feige, the fact. Kevin Feige. I want a, I want a Stan Lee documentary with all these uh, racial tropes from his comics. Straight up. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable now. Is, is it, wouldn't but, that uh, be considered... Uh, uh, anti-Semitic? What, it'd be defamation, definitely. Ant, what defa, anti-defamation league, right? That's what know. ADL is. We got to figure out what we can uh, do. You about can't that. defame stuff. Yeah, because I didn't even think about that. That is even more race that you make them come out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, nah, <laughs> no, that's that's wild though. That's that's wild. There's a lot of stuff in there. I do feel like, from what I heard, that all of that do make sense, and it kind of puts it into the perspective. Um, she. Yeah, we we and we gonna wrap this Black Panther talk up too. I'm gonna make sure I put oh, the no, time on. Oh no, we not. Hold on, no, oh, we what not. else you got, I got to say? More. Oh no, no, you won't, nigga. My most important thing. I'll just I'll leave it off on all this right, one, right? All right what's My the most, most important? important thing that I didn't like, right? All the black man was hoes. All oh, the black man was bitch I ass niggas. Hear it's that. the Black Panther. And I'm all with. First of all, I want to say. My girl, Angela Bassett, deserves an award. She did an incredible job. That was one of the best roles I think Angela Bassett has done, and I don't know how long she absolutely killed it. But how do y'all have this whole movie, and there's no black man the entire time that says, hey, I want to protect my women. I want to make sure my women is good. I know y'all got to go to war with these people in these other countries, and I'm going to ride with y'all. I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure y'all straight. The whole movie. You got just the black women going out after the Black Panther. And I ain't saying a black man need to be the Black Panther. No. But it got to be somebody in this entire country that say, yo, women, I'm going to ride and protect my women. It was. I heard that it was one dude, and then Neymar slapped his ass silly, and Bruh. he was like, I don't want no problems. This whole ass hey, nigga. I don't even think that. Do y'all, y'all sure y'all want to fight him? I heard all the women was like, hey, we about to ride. And he was like, y'all, hey, I felt that punch. Bro. I don't. They I don't think Sherry, y'all want to go. Sherry fought him. Did a did a did an excellent job. Of course, it's always the one that put the pussy on you to take you down. I know Fred, she fought. It's the problem. Sherry ain't no combat warrior in this damn movie. But when did had, Sherry learn how to fight? She had that fire on her. That's all it took, and he knew. Once you put that fire on you, once she put that fire on you, you pulling punches. You not. You can't really do what you want to do. Like you can't treat her like the villain. Bruh, villain. Name more. She put that fire on I'm you. I'm gonna have my comic <laughs> nerd moment. Namor is as, as stronger than Thor and as strong as the Incredible Hulk. A woman who ain't never had combat how come, fight. How come oh. I ain't never? How come I ain't he never heard of this before? We got an MCU guy he's back there. He Thor, like stronger bro. than he's, Thor. Bro. Hey, newsflash for both of y'all. Hey, newsflash for both of y'all. Google it, bro. They're as strong you. as y'all say they are. They're fake. Okay, they, they don't even have real strengths. Thor is as strong as Hulk is as strong as Wolverine. God damn it. It don't fucking matter. Just like a nigga to try if to take away credit comic, from the Mexican man who's strong out here in the street. Shout out to my uh, brown brothers. Don't try to hit on the Hispanic brother. <laughs> it's okay for the Hulk to be strong, but the Hispanic brother, oh, he can't be as strong as the Hulk. He only as strong as you say he is. My brown brother, you are strong. So he got arms, wings, and fins. Arms, wings, and gills on this he guy. Beast, huh? bro. He a, he a real one. Why, why, we ain't never, why ain't never heard of him, but I heard of Aqua. Aquaman is DC. Exactly. So I can't use that. But why ain't I, I never heard of him then? Because you ain't into comics. I don't. I ain't, I'm not really. I ain't even going to lie. I didn't know about Killmonger. Killmonger. I didn't. I knew about Black okay, Panther. I ain't going to lie. I never knew about they, Killmonger. They made Killmonger way more of a real one in the movie. In, in the comics, Killmonger ain't no real one like that. Like, hmm. You don't really fuck with Killmonger in the comics. I know about... Yeah, nah. Like the Joker is the same pretty much in the movies and the comics oh, because there's so oh, many yeah, different yeah, versions yeah. of them. No matter what kind of version of the Joker you create, it's the Joker. Like it's, it's all going to play. But a character like like Iron Man or Thor or something, like you only can make a particular version. You can you can get them to the point where they get to like they be like different levels too of those characters. But at the core, they still the same characters. So like like last thing MCU, at least for me, 
like Iron Man really dead. Like he not coming back. No more Robert Downey you Jr. You might get a variant. Yeah. I'm hmm. sure you'll get a variant. And like the one of them Avenger movies. Bring Don Cheeto back. back Ain't he War Machine? He finna be a whole he got a whole movie coming out. Is War Machine? The Armor War. All right, cool. I'm y'all not going to watch my, it, but y'all going to have me on my... <laughs> y'all going to realize how much of a comic little geek I got. What you saying? I said, I'm not going to watch it, but that's great for Don Cheadle, though. I fuck with star, Don Cheadle. <laughs> he going to be in it, but he ain't going to be the star. How is it a movie? What's he Armor black, War about? Nigga. And obviously, Marvel don't care about the black man because they kill us off and they don't even want to let us get our own movies. No bullshit, because ever since they made a black Captain America, I ain't seen a Captain America movie. Goddamn right you ain't. Okay, they is making one, I but know, I guarantee to. it's going to be like <laughs> mad other characters in there. He won't be the main character. So if he not, so what? Who? Yeah. Don Don Cheeto going he gonna be in a wheelchair. See, once again, we got somebody die from the bed and somebody's gonna be in a damn wheelchair. Why can our superheroes just live life? Wow. Meanwhile, Ant Man just out here flourishing. Just Third flourishing. fourth movie. Wasp this girl big. is out here killing. <laughs> he this big. He out here living life. <laughs> They going all kind of quantum rims and all kind of stuff. <laughs> Ant Man and Wasp Girl out here making all type of convoluted insect babies, and we can't even get a, a walking, fucking living uh, superhero. Somebody who don't die from the vid. That's crazy. Anyway, um, Black Panther is a very good movie though. Everybody <laughs> go check out the Black Panther movie if you haven't right. seen it. Um, Twenty-three. Minutes. I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna put that thing. Just go ahead and skip to 2340, and you ain't gonna get no spoilers. But y'all should have watched it by now, just like I should have watched it by now. It's been enough time for real. Um, shout out to Lil Baby. Random, quick shift, uh, positive hip hop. We talked about negative hip hop too much, and I don't want to be one of them people that always come in here to report hip hop to you people, and it's always something bad or negative or uh, death involved. Unfortunately, nah, Lil Baby. And this hairdresser, he blessed somebody, made their life. Almost made me tear up, but then I just got jealous because I needed that blessing. But still, good for her. Um, what happened was Lil Baby went to a hairdresser, got his hair cut, and he, she cut up everybody else, and he asked her how much she did, and he, of course, overpaid her because his Lil Baby, he blessing, giving blessings out, got some money, bam, boom, right? What happened, she didn't really get no reaction to him or nothing. She didn't want to, like, you know, bother him. At the end, talk to some people, and they was like, um... She was, like, super happy. She showed him, like, what her debt was, said he took care of that, and then some. I don't know how much she got, but just shout out to them. And we don't really have enough um, <clears throat> stories of that and knowing how many times the rappers be doing that type of stuff. And we always, like, hearing the rappers doing messed up stuff, you know, shooting and fighting and beefing and whatnot. Nah, some of these rappers out here really making people lives and creating, like, fans forever. And I guarantee you that that lady going to support Lil Baby and anything Lil Baby support forever now like she probably never even heard of him but and that happened way more often than uh people think so hip-hop ain't as bad as uh they make it seem like it is yeah shout out to little baby and hopefully he come across this shout out and he said uh i'm almost joking podcast a little bit you of love i got this too little baby i mean for That's real though boy. you know you don't know you just come up here sit down for about 10 minutes and then you, you know you even gotta come up here just post it on your social crazy. media. <laughs> post it on your social media. Say shout out to I'm almost joking. Don't be like, you we lit. I know, right? I support everything you do going forward too. I don't care what it is. Got you. Man. Little uh, baby got a cooking book. I'm frying chicken to little baby. It's going down. What you talking about? Hey, for real. You seen that meme of that uh of that dude? Like it was like the first rap ever, but he looked like little baby. It's some dude scatting or talking and shit. It's like some old guys in a band or something, like a quartet. Shit funny as hell, and that dude do look just like Lil Baby. You ever seen them things where it's like the old, like, pictures from years ago, 100 years ago or whatever? I seen one with Pharrell one time. Yeah. He like a vampire, because that dude did look just like Pharrell, too. It's a, it's a bunch of them where these people be looking exactly alike, and it's like, I, but I've been said that when I was uh, young. I remember being young saying that God be recycling faces, like, because pe- too many people look alike, and if I'm God and I got to just keep making people... I'm going to recycle some faces. Like, I'm going to stop. I'm going to just go back to my presets, you know? my templates. <laughs> I'm not going to be creating I mean, who, fresh who, faces who gonna, all the time. Who going to know when it's like 3,000 years in Yeah, the future. come on, man. It's probably somebody who looks just like me in Australia because I ain't never going there. <laughs> you know they say everybody got a twin. Do you believe oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Lupe Fiasco. Shout out to you. Arthur from uh, the TV show. That nigga do look like Lupe. <laughs> <laughs> He even got the little, little Starter dress like Lupe used to have. 
Man, yeah, I know, right? You're like a time traveling I seen, Lupe. I ain't seen Lupe. In I a see minute. you got the little mustache like. trimmed up. Okay, I'm you, man. you got it all trimmed up a little bit today. Who you going to fuck after we leave the podcast today? I ain't going to do nothing, man. I'm going home and going to sleep, <laughs> and I'm getting ready for work tomorrow. I just got two shows this weekend, and I got to look the good. Shit to out of the me under the table, like, nigga, <laughs> 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 trying to play it off like, hey, Hell yeah. I'm just out here, you know. I'm just out here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. Quiz a snitch. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. Just playing, y'all. <laughs> nah, man. Shit, nah. I have to, you know. I be, I be not caring, and then it's like, fuck, I do got to go perform. I do some shit. And I need to start doing this shit more fresh because I be like, on camera a lot now, apparently. Yeah, man, so. you got to be fresh, man. You know what? Look, somebody putting this out to me. They was like, nigga, I don't even think you wore the same thing on no episode yet. Yeah. And then what made me, at first I was like, so that's what's up. Then I thought like, damn, how much, how much clothes do I <laughs> <laughs> we did 50 episodes in Like that's a lot of damn clothes See I'm glad that I've been recycling shirts Bringing stuff in Cause that pressure's gone from me Y'all ain't gotta worry about it You gonna see You gonna see the shirt again So when you read it now You gonna remember Oh yeah This one of those episodes I'm Right one of mine too. I'm gonna bring Cause up I'm not shirt from like episode 18 or something I ain't got like nothing to prove This guy now He gotta keep it up He can't wear nothing again now Like now he people said that to him. Now it's gonna be in his head. Like, did I wear this? He gonna rearrange his whole closet. And be like, I wore the this. You know I wore crazy? If it's on the left side, I wore it on the podcast. Bro, you know what's crazy though? Is that like I got so much shit. <laughs> I guarantee you, shit I ain't even wore yet, and I wouldn't even recognize if I did wear it before. It's like they gonna come in here and start wearing yellow shirts, like just yellow no, sweatshirts. Push, push come to shove, you just put on a white tee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is true. New white tee, put. Speaking of uh, things like getting away with or whatever, and uh, changing and shit, especially clothing wise, it's new black people at my job, man, and that's cool because I'm all for my people and us, you know, getting employment and gaining. But it's just different, and I, this was funny to me earlier because I thought about it. I used to be able to lax on my blackness at my job, and when I first started working there, I was the only black dude working there. Plus, it wasn't nobody besides three other people that I started working that I got hired with in different departments that was even under 40. It was a bunch of old white people. You know what I'm saying? So I was chilling. Um, And I didn't have to, like, wear no clothes cool. I didn't have to fucking do, like, sometimes, bruh, sometimes I just walk in there. I, I, like, I forget to put lotion on. Just had ashy hands all day. It was so freeing. Sometimes my hair be nappy. I wouldn't even pick that shit. I just walk into work and just be whatever. Nah, it's niggas in there. They be like, man. What's up with this old one time, thing? one time I wore sweatpants that had a logo on them on Monday. Wore the same ones on Friday. Nobody said a word, bruh. Wore the same shoes like three days in a row. Oh, I was living. Now it's about six black people that work there. Bet this nigga don't wash his ass. Man. That nigga had that shirt on on Tuesday, nigga. It's only Thursday. Bruh, so now I got to make sure. Now I'm back to when I was working at, uh, shout out to Shop Bop. I'm back when I was working there, and it was a bunch of young people. Like, all right, these, I wore these. That's what made me bring it up to the closet. I wore these this week. I wore that Monday. Can't wear that again for two weeks. <laughs> Hey, you back in school days. You remember back in school? You used to be like that as a kid. Yeah. Like, like you had to actually keep track of what you wore day to day. Because you're like, damn, once I, like, I ain't going to lie, I was broke. So I used to have to like mix and match some shit. That mix and match game for me yeah. was A1. Because I only really had like four pairs of jeans. And I had like a couple pairs of jogging pants. So you got to mix in old shirts oh, yeah. with new shirts and put a different hat on make it look good. 100%. Like if y'all seen my whole, out, like my pants and stuff too, and I knew I had to switch, I would combinate, com- combine and fucking mix and match all day. But I just be worrying about shirts here. And I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I be coming from work and shit. I'm, I ain't got time to deal with that I'm shit start bringing morning. Craig a whole bag of shirts. We're going to pull up. <laughs> I'm going to have Craig with a fresh, crispy new shirt. <laughs> 
Can't have you with your collar all fucked up. You know when you got your old shirt, your collar get all loose and shit? It is. Like that shit some, be dragging and sagging and shit. Some, what sucks is some shirts I like, and I'll be wanting to wear them. Because, like, even this shirt. Like, I like it what it's saying shit, but this is an old shirt. So I'm like, damn, is this, Listen, is this fucking neck? It's black on is camera right now. It enough. looks good, nigga. Don't worry. Hold on, oh, I ain't right. tripping, bro. Yeah, I, could, right. I, I did. I have. I don't remember what shirt it was, but I have been on here one time. All my niggas my, get it. We ain't no bum ass niggas out here in these streets. Up. We ain't got fucked up collars on our shirts. Oh, I'm going to tell you this. Craig, but it's still you might bigger. you I might be that dude that when I get to a million, a couple million, I might still be walking around like I might have a Gucci shirt or something that I wore for three years. This dress that's no, you not nigga. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna allow you not to be fresh if you a million dollar nigga. Oh, you ain't gonna be around me, and I'm fresher than your million dollar. Hey, bro, hell no. I'm, be, I'm, I'm, be, I'm, I'm on that. All the JCC I'm on that shit Bill, flies hell. I'm on that Bill Gates life. No, fuck that. You gonna be in the JCC living regular sweats and a t shirt, bro. Ain't this you a, know, ain't this a nice sweater, y'all. JCC, the website coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, promo.